Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to the Thaumaturge. And I'm really glad you guys enjoyed the first episode of the series, Hell's Bells. I think we have a very interesting journey ahead of us. But in the first episode, we watched as our main character, Victor, traveled to a remote village looking for Rasputin. And the Mad Monk was indeed here. And after having to prove our powers, uh, Rasputin has put us in some sort of trance that apparently is going to help Victor out. So shadows of sins past find the way before we do that however it looks like we've got points to spend thaumaturgy points on the grimoire's cover there are available thaumaturgy points that you can spend on the tree purchase skill upgrades improve your powers within any dimension and hunt salutors to enable further development i don't know what dimensions are uh there's upir this is where we kind of got a preview of all of our other companions that we're going to get eventually Heart, mind, deed, word. This upgrade enables using perception. Oh, are, we already have these. Okay. Gives a 60% chance of dealing double damage. Restores your focus. Reduces focus by one additional point if the enemy is in the suffering state. Gives a 50% chance of interrupting the enemy's planned action. Well, Upir is right up here, so I figure a 60% chance of dealing double damage is nice. Available upgrades. Each skill can be upgraded. Place the upgrade in the designated spot on the skill icon. Each upgrade takes some space. Choose wisely. Oh, we can augment. That's kind of cool. You buy upgrades with thaumaturgy points in the development panel. Once acquired, assign the upgrade to an attack to apply its effect. So... Our planned attack now has a 60% chance of dealing double damage. Neat! That's kind of cool. Eh. Can we... Ah, oh, we can put it wherever we want to. Having a quick attack would be a 60% chance of dealing, like, almost as much as the planned attack, too. So that might actually be a better call. Let's do that for right now. We don't have any acquired flaws other than pride, but we have been enabling pride quite a bit. Okay, I think we're good. Oh! Conclusions. Me. Oh, this is Victor's father. Uh, Stanislav. Forgot how the last name's pronounced. My father and a thaumaturge. Even my mother was sick of him after a few years of marriage, so she left. I was the only one to inherit his powers, but it didn't bring us any closer. When my powers were revealed, he sent me to Paris. That's something I will never forgive him for. My sister, Ligia. The only person I truly miss while I'm away. We're twins, so there's always been a special bond between us. I haven't seen her for years. Currently, I only know her from the letters we exchange. Oh, wow, so they were twins, but Victor got the powers, huh? Now that's a cat who really is gone. Hmm, okay. I'll see the Mad Monk, as history knows him as. That finger snapped, though. Oh, hi, Upir. I need to get out of here. Where is he here, though? Do we just follow the lanterns? What is this sound? Shackles? Like Jacob Marley nonsense? Blind. Oh, speaking of dad. You've never grasped the science of spotting the perfectly obvious. Can you still not see? What do I supposedly not see? Flaw clouds your vision. It always has. 
pride. Your damned pride and sense of superiority. I must have gotten that from you, father. You lose, idiot. You always do. You're even losing against yourself. You can't see, but can you at least hear? You're weak, stupid, and blind. Thanks, Dad. We are not alone. Do you hear me? Do you? Do you? Oh, hi. I can see, Father. Clearly. <laughs> Who appears like, Ugh. Oh, hi. Will you be lying there much longer? I wanted to sweep. That's room service, all right. Where's Rasputin? Uh, In the cemetery, chasing away evil spirits and giving people comfort. You all right? Yes, yes. Absolutely. I wanted to sweep. I'm just heading out. It's so good to see you again. Please. And something else. I saw him clear as day. It wasn't a vision. It was a salutar, unbound by a pact. A wild one. And if so, that means there's someone in the village with a flaw that's attracting it. You talking to me? I was praying. I wanted to sweep. One track mind. Make a full recovery with the help of a miracle worker. Find the person with the flaw that the wild salutor is seeking. Find Rasputin at the cemetery. Okay. Oh, look at her sweeping. You do you, friend. Sweep like you've never swept before. Multiple objects. Quests have multiple objectives. Freely switch for the one you'd like to track. After switching, the objective will reveal a path to follow. Sometimes this path is so mysterious that it eludes even an experienced thaumaturge. No worries. The remaining objectives will provide a way to solve the quest. I definitely want to do that. Hello, doggy. Anyone else want to smack down out here? No? All right. Is... I guess there'd be, like, no additional items or anything to grab. Chickens! Very calm chickens. Coachman. Excuse me. I need to get to the local cemetery. Could you give me a lift? I've only just come back from the post office this morning. I'm not getting the horse going again. Back to the cemetery. It's not like anyone there is going to run away. And look, my horse is more dead than alive. Coachman doesn't want to take me to the cemetery. If I use my power, I should be able to change his attitude. Okay. I'll be right back. Using Thaumaturgy, you can manipulate other people. First, you must know a person's secrets, which you can learn by making conclusions. If the manipulation is available, the character interaction icon will change, and the Upir will appear next to the character. That's really cool. Oh. The coachman used the rag to wipe the sweat from his forehead. The rag reeked with the sour odor of fatigue. Attempts to free the wheels from the soft soil made the spine crack like a fishbone, and the muscles burn with fire. And no one would help. Such was his job. Such was his fate.
the shovels still show traces of mud and ice. The coachman had to free the wagon's wheels from the soft soil that had engulfed them. The coachman is tired and weary. He's worked hard at unloading the wagon alone, and all he dreams about is a moment of rest. I can relieve his suffering. Okay, we can manipulate the coachman if we want, but... Let's see what else we can do here. I felt something. Where is it? In the basket? They'll go gawk, but without lifting a finger. Just Vesna will bring it. Vesna will help. But if Vesna needs help with something, there's nobody to be found. Hmm. That's not yours. Don't touch. All these newcomers causing more problems. That's some mad Zathras energy. If you know, you know. Dropped apple. A bruised crimson apple. Vesna was trembling. Dropped a fruit basket and left this orphan behind. Vesna has left her district trace on the fruit. It consists of a heart fluttering in panic and a throat painfully clenched. A bite of this apple would taste of pure fear. Can we... Ah! There's more things to look at, maybe? Ducks! Thaumaturgy never fails me. There is something here. Salt on the doorstep. Salt on the doorstep protects the unwanted visitors and other misfortunes. So people are definitely afraid of something. Probably why they're so never fails me. There is something here. So thankful for having Rasputin here. A dead goose. Okay, sorry, goose, not uh duck. Someone or something strangled this goose. From the goose's twisted neck flows the anger and passion of the person who slaughtered the poor bird. The wave of emotions carries no desire for meat or feathers, only the sour taste of envy and the desire for all of Bogdan's property to go to hell. Do we get another, ooh, another point? Your bond is restored thanks to Rasputin's help. Cool. Makes every attack on the enemy deal the maximum possible damage. It's a self-cast. Hmm. So these are passive, and I assume these are active. Some of them. Brawn to Brutality increases the damage from the Salutor's next attack by 50%. Maybe... Eerie Intoxication, Bloody Penance... I don't know what to spend it on right now. Eh. Why not? An action reaction. Inflicts oh, is that a counterattack? Because that is awesome if so. And then strong attack, concussion, inflicts damage. Reduces focus. Let's do... Maximum damage. It's only 23 to 24, though. 5, 6, 11, 14. Let's do that. And just make sure it always does 14. What happened to the goose? My dead body. I reject this verdict. Well, I expected as much, and he wanted to come see you himself. He was first to judge. I said what I said, and I won't change my mind. Go away, you're attracting gawkers. Not gawkers, a witness. And let him listen. He'll see it fairly. Sir, 
This liar and thief here stole a memento of my mother. And this witch says I'm supposed to hand my goose over to him, too? Because you strangled mine. And what do I care about some trinkets your mother left you? Because we already know you strangled the goose, but you still haven't proved that Bogdan stole your pendant. Where is the justice here? The conflicted neighbors. A dead goose lies between the quarreling peasants, the obvious bone of contention here. If the wise woman is to settle the dispute, she better do it quickly. It'll come to fisticuffs in a moment. It seems that the neighbors quarreled over a goose strangled in an act of revenge, a classic of the genre. Um, let's go ahead and make Anatoly calm down. Why don't you relax and listen to the words of a wise woman? Well, all in all, it's... I'm sorry, Bogdan. Come inside and tell me what you're doing here. Okay. Am I about to have a... a talking to? <laughs> speak before I die. <laughs> Diary of an Oblate Priest. They say that every nation has its demons. Its phantoms, ghosts, and nightmares were created to make naughty children behave. But I have gone halfway around the world preaching the word of God and learned the truth. These demons, fiends, and devils cursed by God are real. They are everywhere. In distant Sermia, people witness the name Bukavak. A cruel beast whose presence brings wrath and commands people to inflict violence on their neighbors. A fairy tale, you say? But I have seen Bukavak. Here, in this word, I have heard the rattle of his chains and felt his fangs digging into my neck and tugging at every fiber of my soul. And I felt the fury that this wraith brings with it. The anger from which there is no escape. The taste of blood in my mouth that no prayer can erase. May the holy walls of the Oblate Church stop this beast. Blessed Virgin, keep me safe. Everyone does seem to be very, like, on edge. So, so. My dear son, my heart is crying. Have I harmed you so that you write about me like this? That you renounce your legacy, your land, and your blood? I never said a word to you when you refused to farm with us, nor when you went to Tiflis to study. And now you're calling us stupid? Backward? You repeat that after that rector of yours? Uh, Zudiecki? That Georgian, your language is the language of dogs, and you want to write to me only in Russian? Child, Georgia flows in your blood. She is the salt in your tears and the glue in your bones. You will not renounce her. You can't. Ooh. The villagers seem to have a certain respect for you, ma'am, so I wanted to ask your help with something. I'm not getting any younger, boy. Talk before I drop dead. Who? Something continues to elude you, keeps... Well then, I hope you'll still be alive when I get back, madam. That's cool that you can get more and more, uh... Info. I don't want to accuse her of anything right off the bat, though, because that would potentially be bad. I do like the fact that the camera turns automatically. Am I sensing... What we got here? Dish shards. Broken shards of a blue ceramic dish. The broken ceramic trembles with anger and frustration. The quarrel erupted suddenly, spewing out bile of mutual complaints and grievances. Its sweet and pungent taste stupefied, compelled screaming, finger pointing, and hurting. The frenzy lasted until all involved were out of breath. Yeah, it seems like wrath is the is the thing here. Damaged axe shaft. The damaged axe shaft, the trace of it bears not, does not belong to Vesna. Dimension, force, too low word. The shaft is overgrown with the thorns of bitter words, but there are others 
warm, delicate as rose petals. They betray a love for someone who's not afraid of thorns. A love that is difficult, but not accepting of violence. In this house lives a married couple who do not mince their words. They argue violently, loudly, until they're out of breath. But they persist. Together. Despite everything. So we can go back and look at that once we have word one. I feel we should just go ahead and look around town. And see what else we can find. And maybe go ahead and grab word one. I think that may be everything. Okay. Let's head inside. Oh, wait. There's something else here. What do we got? I failed. <laughs> A hand carved and elaborately painted wooden box. Trace unknown. <laughs> Bless his heart, poor Victor. I failed. Knock, knock. I wanted to talk. Ma'am, please open the door. Please don't be dead. Oh, we didn't invite any guests over. I'm telling you, go away, or I'll call for help! 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 Somebody help me! What are you doing here, you tramp? I'm not looking for trouble. I just wanted to talk. We'll talk, all right. Okay. Start the fight. Oh, we can adjust upgrades before the fight. That is awesome. Let's go. Strong attacks and focus. In order to launch a strong attack against an enemy, you must take away all their focus, causing them to enter the breakdown state. Strong attacks are much more powerful than other skills and allow the fight to end quicker. Select the diversion skill to lower an enemy's focus. Alrighty. Who are we going to do? You and your Salutor each have your own separate set of skills. Plan what you want to use and give the Salutor an appropriate command. Arm? Bloody Penance and... Okay, let's see. Eerie Intoxication. Inflicts damage, restores your health points by zero, which is half of what you've lost. Each subsequent action that restores health points will restore less of it. That's nice. Bloody Penance. Inflicts damage. The target's health points determine how much damage the skill inflicts. The more health points, the higher the damage. Not of this world. So he has a finisher as well. Um. You and your cell. Okay. Can we do this one? Yes. We'll just split the split the difference. Strong attack. The enemy has lost all focus, is now in the breakdown state. Great chance to launch a strong attack. Ooh. Shoryuken! So you're almost done. Um, what to do? What to do here? Maybe reduce focus again? Sure. We can do that. And Opir. Lose focus again. You too. And you. There we are. That is so cool. I like it. And now a quick attack. The devil sent you. You could say that, sure. 
The village residents, if thinking interferes with their actions, so much the worse for thinking. The locals are impetuous, irritable, and eager to pit a, pick a fight for even the most trivial reason. Something is not right here. Kind of reminds me of like a nicer version of the villagers from Resident Evil. Okay, so now let's go ahead and upgrade the word. Because that looks like that is going to be helpful. And then fortune. Um, actually, that'd be pretty good. 50% chance of interrupting the enemy's planned action. Aha! The box is marked with words of love, sweetest kisses. The names of Vesna and Luca intertwine, cuddling tenderly against the wood, against the delicate carvings, trying to protect them from damp and rain, from all the evil the world carries with it. Hmm. A loner by choice with a disposition as tart as juniper berries. The shaft is overgrown with... Okay, yeah. Accepting of violence. Although it's already become moldy from disuse, it carries the memory of the spirit of the one who... Oh, okay. So maybe... Oh, nice boots. Th thank you, sir. I had to look at that. I got. I had to look at that again for a second. Can't go that way. Let's see if we can talk to her with more information. I wanted to talk, ma'am. Please open the door. Please go. We didn't invite any guests over. Please leave. Please leave. Hmm. So did we miss some info? Chickens, do you have anything to add to this? No? May have to go uh, to the cemetery. Rasputin at the cemetery. Yeah, looks like all roads may lead out of here to manipulate the coachman. I'm going to head out here just real quick to see if there's anything else before we hit the fog of war. No. I'm not going anywhere. Maybe you'll change your mind and drop me off at the cemetery after all. Well, on the other hand, this place isn't much more exciting than the cemetery, and I meant to take the horse out for a ride, so get on. As long as the horse isn't, doesn't die in the attempt. You okay, buddy? Okay, get the wagon, and we are here at the cemetery, guys. Not exactly sure what Rasputin's doing here, but I guess we will find out. And maybe we'll get some information. I bet we're going to find um, Vesna's husband here in the cemetery. Oh, we got another Thaumaturgy point, too. Can we... Ah, okay, cool. Maybe if we get something... Um, raised up here, it'll unlock another one. I may want to keep that on on dock in case we need it for additional mind or something that we encounter here. But we'll go ahead and end it here and pick it up in the next episode. I hope you all have enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.